Okay, video number 81. Um, mental notes. Uh, that is going to be a fiberglass repair job from heck or hell, which depending on what matters to you most. <coughs> um, the chrome strip or aluminum strip you see there goes behind these pieces. So before I can get those rivets out and get that off, to be replaced with a better looking one, I have to get these off, and I'm not ready to do that. I'm close, but not yet. Um, the hoses, those are dry rotted bad. And uh, down there's a big chunk of important looking pieces of it that just fell off when I moved around, so be prepared to replace those. Uh, let's see, let me grab this. Uh, get that out of there. Right there for now. Um, note to self, you got a lot of dry uh, sanding dust in this boat, and even though you don't think you need a respirator, you should always wear a respirator in this shop. I have been wearing my mask that I bought, my 3M full face mask respirator, which is what I would call a gas mask. <laughs> Probably not, but uh, it, it reminds me of the good old Mark V gas mask from days gone by. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got to take care of this and this while I'm up here. What else was I going to say? There was something else I was going to discuss, and I forgot what it was. But in any event, um, this has been a pretty productive day. Finally got that piece all the way off, the rub rail all the way off. And now I'm going to take a little break and get my um, respirator on and vacuum out my vacuum cleaners and start sanding. And uh, that's the plan for the rest of the day is to sand. I was going to come up here with my multi-tool and remove this board right here, the whole front. I was gonna do it, but I got too much stuff up here and I'm not really ready to go cleaning this off and spending my time up here. I uh, want to dissect this whole area. I got some rot down there and we're gonna replace every piece of this boat that is rotten and possibly every piece of the boat. But there will be a day very soon when one of my winter projects will be to take this off, take that off, take that off, take that off and put those up on that shelf with that big piece up there and cut this plate out <coughs> knowing that um, when I'm done, um, I will uh, not take the plate out. But the goal is to eventually take as many of these pieces that are in here out in one piece because I have a multi-tool that will cut anything I want. And when I get it out, you know, if I take all these out in one piece, I can use them as forms for the next piece. I did stop by Menards to pick up my saw horses and get some Ziploc bags. And I did look and see what was going on with the uh, <coughs> marine grade plywood. Last year I bought two sheets, I think I did, of half inch. And that's where I made all these pieces that go in there. Um, and you know, it really, it didn't take much. It, it, it was uh, a little expensive, but it didn't take much of the wood. So, and I was just about thinking it would be nice to be able to have some wood on hand, take those boards out, lay them on those pieces, draw them out on the boards, and then cut the wood up that I take out of the boat and bag it up so I can take it to the dump. Uh, I think before I start that, I don't want that wood on hand yet because there's just not enough room in here. But I think before I start that, I want uh, my pickup truck on site. I have another pickup truck, it's a green pickup truck. I gotta put the insurance and plates on it and uh, go see what it takes to make it roadworthy because I have not looked at it. And I did not want to work on anything but the boat. But if that truck were sitting right outside this door, I could bag everything up that's going to the dump and simply throw it in the back and throw a net over it so that it can't blow out when I'm gone and leave it there until it's full and then just make one trip to the dump. <coughs> it just means that I would have to work around it and it means it has to make one trip. You know, the insurance ain't nothing. It's like 25 bucks a month. 
but it would have to make one trip from where it's parked, which is about 100 miles away, to that door, and then to the dump when I'm ready to go to the dump. Uh, and I don't know, I, I know I bought it, and I know I bought it with intentions of restoring it just like I did this boat, and that was going to be next year's project. But I kind of think I need it to help me uh, restore this boat. I think I could use it. That pickup truck out there, I don't want to take to the scrap yard or the dump. I uh, don't want to tear up my tires in the wrong locations. And I got another truck that is nothing more than a workhorse until I decide to restore it. And I think I'm going to end up going and getting it. Um, mice. have not found any mice. I uh, set some of those sticky pads you see up there under my uh, deer head. Because I've noticed some mice poop. And I know I've set out some mice poison outside around this building to uh, prevent them from entering the building. But I did notice last time I was here that mice poop had been up there. And I worried that I had actual mice getting in here and I was not in control of it. And I can tell you that I've set the sticky pads out and nothing's gotten caught by the sticky pads. And the sticky pads are not moving around. So I think Currently, there is no mice in here, but because I'm taking the cushions off and setting them up on those shelves and knowing that that has been one of their favorite places to be, I really need to monitor that, uh, especially with my deer hunting stuff right there. Last thing I need is mice getting in my deer clothes. So I'm going to be putting some things back in my truck and taking them home and going through them just to make darn sure that I didn't make that mistake. Uh, going to go to do a little ice fishing with my son tomorrow evening. Oh boy, we don't need this spilled over. I'm um, going to go do a little deer hunting with my son tomorrow evening and his two girls. And uh, going to go home tomorrow evening and visit with my grandkids. And if the ex-wife doesn't have a lot of things for me to do on Saturday, we might make a trip over to Walhalla to get the uh, um, swim platform for this thing off of another boat that I found. I uh, found it. I made an offer on it. Told him I'd come back and get it. He accepted my offer. I told him I need to make sure it would fit. I believe it will. I think I'll have to make some pipes, but I think the brackets and the platform will do just fine. And uh, I lost his number. I don't know how. I had him in my contacts, and then all of a sudden he's not there. So I will have to physically make a trip out there and see if I can find this guy on a Saturday and take some tools with me tomorrow evening and uh, go from there. But I'm going to get off here, take a break, and get ready to... Um, start sanding because you know by the end of March I want this sucker sanded at least the exterior hall I was going to take all my cleats and all my handrails off today but as late as it's getting I just want to sand from here on and start over with that stuff when I get back on another day thanks and have a great day